Hello everyone again. We are studying the very next nano, the third one. I would have done more, but you know, things happen. Anyway, this is One Night at Amphora. I'm going to ignore the art because this person's strength is writing, not art. And I'm going to completely focus only on the story. Because if you don't give the story a chance, then how are they going to find artists that like their work? Or something along that line. Uh, basically. Mm -hmm. How do I say this? Oh, I think I know how to say it. Basically, if you don't give, if the only way to tell someone's skill via their strength is really their strength, is to actually look at it. Nope, that's so badly worded. As you can see, it's not much, but it's a nano. And I did state earlier that their strength is writing. But it does have interesting menu music. It's the standard Ren P menu. So it's this. Not much was changed. And I really lowered it down the music. It was pretty loud. I hope the music doesn't go too loud this time, guys. Anyway, let's start. Hold on. <laughs> uh, okay. Hi, I'm Ashkey, and I'm a freshman at Amphora Institute of Charm. I'm guessing I'm a black dude? It's a university where you can study charm. Or you can study something practical that would actually get you a job after college. My charm is levitation. I'm in the top 1% of levitators my age, which means I can lift an object that weighs up to one to a kilogram. Okay. Assuming it's an equal distribu distribution of weight. Where's the period? Okay, and there's no wind. And I haven't levitated anything else within the past 15 minutes. Well, you do have to have limits, otherwise you'll be overpowered. It's actually not a super useful skill in day-to-day -day life. Which is why I haven't declared levitation as my major yet. I mean, I love levitation, but maybe I can learn to love economics too. Comma is not necessary. I don't know. Anyway, it's a Saturday night and I'm in my dorm study lounge with my friend Natalia. Natalia? Natalia. Natalia. If I'm in the top 3% of levitators, then she's in the top 0.1% of icers. Actually, the, the top 0.05% of icers, according to my board scores. But don't get me started on how useless sanitized tests are. Trust me, I won't. And speaking of things you shouldn't do, have I told you that you should major in more like anything? Other than econ? Yes. Often. Repeatedly. Excessively. But in spite of that, you haven't listened. <laughs> because it's not that easy. And what if I like econ? Is there anything of that? And then you're crazy. I kind of like that. Even though... Not many people who actually do animations. So. You're a good levitator, at least be to the alchemist. I almost wish I was a good levitator though. I mean, what if I'd been born in Electro? Even just a kind of sucky Electro. Their charm helps them interact with all sorts of computers and machines. It did practic- Okay, this, this is just another error. But I recall someone on the forum already stating these errors, so... They just haven't updated it yet. It's practical and interesting. Please, the benefits of the electric charm are vastly overstated. <laughs> Memorize your keyboard shortcuts and you'll be faster on a computer than half the electros out there. Besides, you really want to be like... Never mind, I shouldn't talk like that now. Talk like what? It's no 
nothing? Come on, what are you going to say? Well, what I was going to say was, could you really want to be like that lecture of men who lives in our dorm? Well, I've seen her name on the door, but I don't think I've met her. You remember her if you did? She is opinionated. I really dislike her. But even my heart is so cold that I don't feel bad for her. That's got to suck. What sucks? You didn't hear? Her mom died. Wow. Yeah, I haven't seen her around, so she must still be home for the funeral or something. I can't even imagine that. Well, I'm not now. I think it's time to get drunk. I wouldn't find Abby and Buddy. And I'm trying to make them hook up. <laughs> Matchmaker. Not happening, I'm afraid. I haven't dinner at all. Do you want to come help? Oh, no. That's okay. You go on ahead. Sit yourself. Later. I wonder for a second if I should have gone with Metallica to see her friends. Just as I start gathering my stuff to head back to my room, a girl with never before enters the study lounge. What voice to give you? Really? You're in the study lounge on a Saturday night? I was just leaving. And aren't you also in the study lounge on a Saturday night? Carrying a textbook? Yeah, but I'm allowed to do it. I'm an engineer. You look so artsy to be studying on a Saturday night. Well, I wouldn't say that I'm artsy. Actually, I'm... So the first choice, eh? Uh, I'm gonna say for myself. This is also simple, huh? Save. Return. And undeclared, because he doesn't know. Oh, you're so you're saying like comparative, comparative, <clears throat> comparative charms or some other hippie nonsense? And you don't want anyone to, like, put your major in box, man. Hey, I never said anything like that. At the moment, I'm just between majors. Ah. So philosophy, then. Definitely a philosophy major. How is being an engineer any better? You mean aside from job satisfaction, financial security, and the ability to make meaningful contributions to society? Well, I also get to do this. Ouch! Did you just shock me with a lecture charm? Relax, you will. I don't think I can make you defibrillate even if I wanted to. Well, I thought this girl's just took it around at first. But that electro shock stinks. I think it left a welt. A welt? A welt. Oh, that. Okay. I do not feel like going to dictionary.com just to show the definition. Um, the, oh well, it's, it's, it is a type of injury, just not, it's hard to, it's a kind of injury, okay, okay. I'm out of here. I start to gather my books. Hey, where are you going? Don't tell me you're mad over a little static shock. <sighs> Whatever, you're no fun anyway. Why don't you go off and get stones on the other philosophy hippies? Just let me hear all of this stuff to see the exquisite misery on my organic electrophysics. <laughs> I need to read Physics 2 textbook. Yep, I am so totally out of here. But as I roll up my laptop charger, a thought occurs to me. This girl's in Electro, who lives in this dorm, and who embodies literally every single thing that Talia hates. who just got back from her mom's funeral. Lynn, I think her name was. No wonder she's in a bad mood. I hesitate a second before putting my laptop away. 
If I leave now, Lynn will think I'm mad at her for stopping me. And I am mad. But I don't... Don't... Want her to feel guilty or anything. <sighs> kind of hard to take things like this seriously, but... Especially when this thing was rushed out at, let's see, about two and a half weeks, when they had plenty of time. I'm sorry, I just can't take this one seriously. They had plenty of time to fix all the errors. Plenty. I know, I ha I finished ahead of time, but I still kept working on it. <sighs> nope, nope, no judging. No judging. They could have been busy doing something else. I'm not going to keep making excuses for this stuff if I keep seeing... Uh, I'm just being nitpicky. Not after what she's been through. New plan. I wait a few minutes, pretend to get a text, then leave without hurting her feelings. Problem solved. Hey, um, actually, maybe I'm not leaving. I think I'll just stay here and watch a movie with headphones. Do you mind? Yes. But not enough to stop you. Just don't watch a comedy. If I hear you laughing, I'll zap you a second time. Sure, no problem. I plug in my headphones and go to a different corner of the room. Half an hour later, I've almost decided what movie I want to watch and start thinking about heading back to my room. But all of a sudden, I hear a... Uh, Um, sorry, but you don't, you don't sound, that thud would have worked earlier. That sentence was unnecessary. You don't suddenly put, but all of a sudden, blah, 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 blah. no, that's, that's beginner's mistakes. If you're going to make a sound, happen right then and there. You can do it in a visual novel. It makes sense if it's just in a plain old book. But you heard the thud. I heard the thud. You could have back. They could have put the thud right away, right after this. They could have put a thud right here. Not, but all of a sudden I hear it. Just, it's annoying to me. They have the resources. They could have saved themselves a tiny little sentence in time. Looks like Lynn just matched your textbook with a face. Ouch. Fuck all the everythings. Is something wrong? Oh, nothing that another 25 hours of cramming for a Monday's exam will fix. But I've literally never seen a textbook this poorly conceived before. It's like the writers themselves they even know what to get it or to fix it is. You know what I mean? That's douche. And it's maybe it's possible she already tried this. And I really don't know, so this is the most honest answer, so. Yeah, well, it is. I just can't concentrate at all tonight. It must be your fault. You were watching comedy, weren't you? I swore I heard laughter. Actually, I wasn't watching anything yet. It was a toss-up between a silent movie about me, oh, but not blah, 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 notorious strangler, or a documentary about a really awful underreported genocide. So no laughter. Well, I heard something. So does the strangler movie almost? I almost watch. He always heard laughter. Break, you've already accomplished something. 
If you haven't accomplished anything, then you're just procrastinating. And I just don't have time for that. You don't have to take a long one. Yeah. Yeah, well. Fine. I'm now on break. So what should I do for a break? If I choose one to do, it's possible she might say finish her work. And I personally don't drink, so I'm probably never, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> I would never choose that choice first in any game, the end, etc., etc., interactive anything with drinking, unless it's necessary for a route, and so on and so forth. Whatever I do, I need to keep thinking about work. Either that, or I need to forget work so completely that I can't think of anything else. Because, well, I just have to or I'll never get the studying done. Yeah, it's probably a good idea to keep focusing on studying. <sighs> Why'd you have to say that? Say what? Well, now that you've said it's a good idea to study, I'm going to do the exact opposite. bad ideas because it's good so they'll want to do the opposite. Okay. You should stop studying right now and get blackout drunk. Ah, that's not working either. See, even though you said it was a good idea, I know you still think it's a bad idea. I still want to do the opposite. What do you think? So what? You're just going to stop studying? It wouldn't be the worst idea. No. Wait, that's it. No, I guess strictly speaking, it would be the worst idea. Wait. And I skill I'm just joking around to. I have a liter whiskey in my room now. How serious are you about drinking? Um, actually, meant you can call up your friends or something. I wasn't really planning on doing much tonight. Right, that's what I meant to. It's pretty clear that wasn't what she meant. Okay. I was just going to find someone else from somewhere else to go with. It's pretty clear she doesn't have anyone else in mind. Man, I'm tired and really not in the mood to do anything tonight. But am I really going to ditch someone who just lost her mom? Hey, but I could do something if you want. I've got a fifth of vodka. Or maybe more like a tenth. But it's something. Is it good vodka? No. Ugh, fine, you can have some of my whiskey. Hey, I'm perfectly okay with drinking my bad vodka. Yes, but I'm not. People with no taste are boring. And I don't want to waste my time hanging out with someone boring. You'll drink my whiskey. And you'll like it. That works too. Good. I'll be back in a second. Um. And then, when Lynn comes back, she has an unopened bottle of whiskey. She passes me the whiskey and an old coffee mug. Must be her mug, because it says Dad but Dab the High Science Spirit 2011 participant on it. Well, looks like I'm getting drunk in the center lunch tonight. We both party drinks without really saying much. Lynn looks anxious and distracted. She glances over at a closed textbook as if she, maybe she's having second thoughts. And this song is literally the only song playing and starting to get on my nerves. You'd think that it at least have at least two or three other songs. Suddenly she takes her glass and downs a shot in one gulp. 
This isn't any good. What? Whiskey? No, this study lounge. It's so quiet in here, I can hear myself think.